result that you wanted uh, in your first home game, but can we discuss the atmosphere and you know your your new home, or yeah. one of your two new homes? Here. Yeah, one of our homes for sure. I mean, I thought I loved the turnout. I loved when we skipped out, and I saw so many young girls and boys at the glass. I mean, it was awesome to see, and I think. The rink is obviously beautiful. It's awesome playing in this arena and having this facility uh, to call our home for half of the games this season. Did you, I don't know if you guys hear, you know, during a game or whatever, but you even got a little go New York, let's go New York chant and everything. You're, you know, it's it's something that you have to build. For sure. But to see it build right off the bat, how does it make you feel? It makes us feel great. Obviously, we would have liked to win the first one for the fans, and I think that would have been a great start, but I think they hopefully loved our effort and our heart, and I hope that next home game we can uh, get a win for them. There's a lot of physicality, pushing and shoving in tonight's game. Uh, can you want to take us through how that felt for y'all? Yeah, I mean, it felt good. It was tough. I thought the refing was really inconsistent the whole game. I mean, we score a goal in the third. That's blatantly a goal, and I'm still confused why it wasn't, but... It's sometimes what we have to deal with with refing. I thought our first game's refs were awesome, and today we had to battle through a lot of inconsistency, and that's what's unfortunate, I think, because we want to play that game where we're let to hit, and that refing's consistent, and it sucks that game by game things change and things like that. So i obviously not pleased with that. Um, and I don't mean just for us. I think both ways it was just inconsistent, unfortunately. What was different? tonight three two down as opposed to monday's four nothing win <laughs> yeah it's obviously a different game you got to battle back and try to get a goal i mean we tried to put some good bids there at the end and i th i think a couple of the girls did and we gave it all we had i have to give credit to kristen campbell she made some saves there at the end uh she's a great goalie and it was it was good to see her thrive there at the end it's kind of two second periods in a row where you guys started fast in the first period and then the second period kind of it was you were on your heels a little bit you know like you took it to have you seen that trend and, and is that something obviously you're aware of and want to change I think definitely I think that's been one of our problems is we're not consistent over the 60 minutes and I think we have a really good team and I think a lot of it is just putting the pieces together and knowing what we have to do from the top down to change that and make sure we're playing the right way and doing all the things we need to do. And I, I don't think it's a lack of effort. I just think it's a lack of, uh, I think, just getting together and being on the same page. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're Obviously, uh, not the result you wanted, but how did it feel to get out there in front of your home fans tonight? Yeah, we had a great crowd today, a uh, passionate crowd, I think, and it's a great start for us going through this season. Obviously, you want to get the first game underway, and we were looking to get the first win and home win in PWHL history, but it didn't go in our favor tonight, but there's a lot we can take from tonight, and uh, we're ready to go for the next one. How frustrating was it to have that goal to slab? Yeah, definitely some frustration always is. You know, we're all passionate about the game. We all want, you know, to get ahead in the game. So that happens, though, you know, refs the game's quick and things happen so you know you can't get it back but you know there's things we'll learn from and okay, take it to the next game in the similar vein having a shorthand goal against to be the deciding goal that's got to be tough but, and i guess an important learning moment as well for you guys yeah for sure obviously you know Sometimes maybe cheat a bit or you get excited and, you know, we want to take advantage of the power plays. So sometimes you take some risks on the power play and, you know, they got a quick rush and, you know, things like that happen. And unfortunately now there's a new rule and the player gets come out of the box. So, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Those things happen. And like I said, we'll learn from it and they will make some adjustments. But um, I think... You know, you can't go back. You just reflect on it. Well, that's what I mean. All What's the level of physicality been like in the league this far for you? Feel? Yeah, definitely physical. I, you know, we played Toronto. Our last three games actually to include Utica, but I think it's a bit of a rivalry, so it's definitely physical. But I think, honestly, it's going to be physical every single game. Um, it's just the level of intensity and the speed of the game. Uh, the refs are letting some things go, so we're taking full advantage of that. And, you know, we're all strong girls. We train full time. So it's nice for us to be able to play physical. You like it personally? I love it. Yeah, I think it fits into my game. <laughs> Gets me into the game, to be honest. <laughs> what was different tonight than Monday? Uh, honestly, I think it's just you know we want to play sixty minutes. To be honest, in Toronto, we didn't even play a full sixty. We kind of had a bit of a lapse in the second. So I think we still got to work towards playing a full sixty. Uh, I think tonight, you know, some bounces. Obviously, we didn't get that one goal called, and you know, some of the bounces didn't go our way. I think. You know, Abby stood on her head for us in net, to be honest. And, you know, we need to back her a little more and 
disallow more shots against us and uh, maybe create some more traffic in front of their net and you know, make their boys' life a little more miserable. Yeah, it's been consistent with both your goalies. First, I know it's only two games, but you've gotten good goals in these first two games. So it's, you've got to give the team some confidence. Like oh, yeah, for sure. You know, we have big goaltenders, which is always nice, but they're just rocks. I uh, think they're going to be rocks for us all year. Um, you know, we see it in practice every day. They're competitors, and I think they're going to have our back every game. We just got to, you know, give them some goal support. And uh, tonight, we just didn't give Abby the goal support we should have. So. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. So it's a goal. How frustrating is that? It's always frustrating, but especially at such a big, you know, a key juncture of the night. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just say that that it would have uh, gone very well for us had the goal been allowed. I mean, I I think it would have helped us generate the momentum that we needed to to uh, get back into the game. I, and, uh, I don't think the team reacted afterwards to, you know, finishing this one out. Uh, I, I, you know, they were disappointed, obviously. It was tough but after the game, sorry. No, after, after the, the dislodge level. Yeah, yeah it, it, uh, it was hard for everybody, I think, you know, again, that's, there's a surge of emotion there, and a very positive emotion. You think, okay, good, we're going to get things going. We don't know. And uh, it doesn't go your way, so it's, Touchy it's tough. It's tough. Um, I think we need to get to the place where we can control our emotions, though, and understand that, okay, well, we got a goal, it's disallowed, and we just have to work on getting the next one. And I, I think maybe we can, our emotions got away from us a little bit too much. Um, and that's part of learning, it's part of growing as a group and, and understanding as athletes and as coaches that we have to stay even keel so that we can get back to business when things don't go well that we can't control. Was it just they blew the whistle too soon? They uh, No, they said that uh, her intent was to blow the whistle. She felt that the uh, she had lost sight of the puck. She felt it was covered, so, her, so she was in the process of uh, just going to blow the whistle. And so her intent was to blow it, so that's why. It was also looked like it, it was going to be a penalty called on fast in the first period, and there was a, she hit a Bourbonnet, I think, and there was a long discussion. Do you know what happened there? Uh, when she hit Bourbonnet, or was it? Uh, uh, Son that was Sonia. Oh, Son yeah. Son yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was, I guess we're still trying to figure things out. I mean, there, the intent is to let a little bit more go in our league, and um, so it's going to be, we're, need, we're going to need to figure things out a little bit more, I think, is, uh, is a, Collective, um, and this is one of those situations that didn't go our way at work. We felt like that. Can you uh, speak to your goaltenders? You have three excellent goaltenders. Uh, what was your uh, decision making process behind giving Abby the start today? Um, we've said from the uh, uh, the outset that, that we feel that we have two very strong goalies that can play at this level. We also feel that Lindsay Post is strong too, but she's got some work to do. I think to, uh, her job really right now is to push the other two. But uh, my intent is to is to give each both Shrodes and and uh, Levy an opportunity to uh, to get in as many games as we can and compete to see who will eventually be that goalie that takes us in down the stretch and into playoffs. Talk a little about the atmosphere out here tonight. It's great. You know, I um, we didn't have the numbers <laughs> that some of the other uh, games have, have had, but we certainly had the emotion. Like, I could feel it. It was exciting. Um, we couldn't see it because they were all behind us. But it was a. I thought it was a great crowd. I thought. I thought that they, you know, they brought a lot of uh, just, just a lot of excitement and helped push that for our team. And, and uh, it's just it's too bad we couldn't pull it out. What do you anticipate will be the challenge of if there is? Maybe it, it isn't. But, but playing some home games here, some home games at UBS, kind of going back and forth, and you're trying to build a you know, home ice advantage in two different buildings. Well, I think it depends on how you how you decide that you want to look at that. I, you know, I think uh, I think it's really exciting to have that challenge to play in two facilities and, and you know, both great facilities. 
Um, I'm kind of looking forward to playing UBS just as I was looking forward to, to uh, playing here. Um, so I, you know, it's something that you can put in your back pocket and you say, okay, that's going to drive us. We get, we get to play in two great, great uh, arenas. Um, but yeah, sure. The flip side is, you know, you'd like to develop a little bit of familiarity with the rings that you're in, but in the end, again, it's that's something that you know, it's, it's not. It's not going to determine whether or not you're going to lose the game. Right? If you bring the right mindset, and you can do well no matter where you are. We're going to have to win on the road, and in, in, uh, in order to be successful down the road. Um, so, you know, we might as well learn how to win in our two facilities while we're at it. Anybody on your team outside the goalies stand out in particular over these two games? Um. I've, I've really liked the way that uh, Abby Rock has played. I felt I feel like she's doing you know, what what she can do for us. She's tough to play against. She's a big body. She's she's being physical in a good way. Um, you know, she's handling the puck. I think when she distributes the puck uh, consistently, she can be a real threat. And you know, and she's doing a lot of that. I think in the last couple of games, I felt like she's stepped up for us. Um, Obviously, I, like I felt, uh, they, they were tough goals. We kind of gave uh, them against uh, Abby, maybe. I felt like we sort of gave them a second, third opportunities in tight there. We didn't do the job to box out, but I felt uh, even after the, they got those two goals, they had some very good opportunities to, to get some more goals. And she stood up. Sure, goalies have just been very, very happy with them through the whole process. And, uh, you know, there's, there's lots of players. I think that I could probably pull out that I think are, are getting better every day, and that's all we can ask for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.